Sonoma County Regional Parks works to support the ecosystems of public lands with a robust natural resources division and partnerships with several community organizations. In Sonoma County and in California, we happen to have incredible biodiversity that we're really used to, uh, but stewarding that is important and it takes active work to be keeping Sonoma County the sort of biodiverse, beautiful place that we really know and love. Two recent examples and pretty discreetly different examples are restoration projects that we did at Hood Mountain and Doran Beach. With funds from the Parks for All ballot measure, the Sonoma County Regional Parks partnered with the Laguna de Santa Rosa Foundation, a nonprofit focused on environmental education, restoration, and conservation, the California Native Plant Society, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to replant and preserve natural habitats at Doran Regional Park. We're out here today at uh, Doran Regional Park um, to restore a small section of our native dune ecosystem here. This area was once covered in uh, non-native invasive plants, primarily ice plant and European dune grass. Native dune plants provide habitat for a multitude of other native species. By restoring the foundation of the ecosystem here, we're hoping that it'll have essentially a ripple effect and improve habitat and, and presence for a multitude of other native species. We are restoring what used to be here. Now we have um, the native dune grass. We also have sagewort. We have dune buckwheat. We have beach strawberry. Not just a monoculture of European beach grass and ice plant. So I would say within the next couple of years, we're gonna see um, a lot of these plants really bulking up and forming mats on the dunes. So a big impetus for this project is to restore snowy plover habitat as well as uh, native dune ecology. It's proven to be really critical overwintering habitat for them and also nesting habitat. Predators will utilize U European dune grass as cover uh, to predate on snowy plover nestlings. So a big part of what we're doing here is removing that uh, European dune grass and by doing that removing the cover that predators can utilize Another element of that is with sea level rise, we're seeing more and more of Doran Regional Park get covered during high tide events, and that reduces the amount of available uh, use area for western snowy plovers. We are doing our best to make the ecosystems that we steward more resilient to the impacts of climate change, and by opening up more possibilities for native plants and native habitats to thrive, we're basically supporting the capacity for those ecosystems to survive in like an uncertain climatic future. We've been pulling ice plant out here for about five years. It's a very full, rewarding, enriching activity. It's just a much better ecosystem, uh, much more diverse. And I'm very excited that so many people come to the boardwalk and we'll get to look out at the ocean without having to look through that stuff and deal with that stuff. In 2017, the Nuns Fire swept through more than 50,000 acres in Sonoma County. And then in 2020, the Glass Fire came through much of the same area, including Hood Mountain Regional Park. This park is home to many native plants, including a rare pygmy forest of sergeant cypress trees, a native evergreen that thrives in serpentine soils. Hood Mountain is pretty unique in that it has some pretty large outcroppings of serpentine soil. It's a very harsh soil and it's very limiting to the types of plants that can really grow and thrive there. Those that do, in the case of, of Sargent Cypress, tend to grow slower uh, than they might otherwise. And so Hood has uh, a really sort of unique assemblage of plants that are growing in these serpentine soils um, that you don't necessarily find in other places. We were thinking about and planning for a recovery from the, from the dozing that happened during the Nuns Fire and before we could actually get out and seed, the Glass Fire happened in um, 2020. We collected seed from 26 or 27 species and it's all right around burned areas, places where we could actually collect the seed in the same type of uh, community. So it's all local to this site specifically. 
It's been about a year since our first planting. A year ago, this looked like the surface of Mars. If I was walking up the road from 100 yards, I would have seen just sort of this reddish brown earth and rocks, and I would not have seen very much vegetation growing. It's astonishing how well things have done up here, and every time we come up, we see more growth. I would say it's on par with some of the best success we've ever had at any site. 